Today we're going to look at what happens when we propel a Diablo shaped pellet backwards. Chances are this will defy your understanding of physics because it certainly surprised me. In today's test we'll be using these very large almost 68 caliber lead pellets sent to us by Jesse Crow. This is basically just a supersized air rifle pellet, but much, much bigger. In fact, it equals the mass of 62.177 caliber air rifle pellets. That's a big a pellet. Just like the little air rifle pellet, this has a thin hollow skirt. In an air rifle, the high pressure air causes the skirt to expand against the barrel, creating a gas check. The hollow base also moves the center of gravity forward, giving us a shuttlecock effect. The shuttlecock, or badminton birdie, has a heavy nose and a very light, high drag tail. With this arrangement, the shuttlecock will always want to fly nose first. Now the Diablo pellet is also nose heavy. We'll try to illustrate that here, but this is not how you do it. But if we hang it by a string, we can see where the center of gravity is. Just like the shuttlecock, we have a heavy nose and a light, high drag tail. Based on how the shuttlecock functions, the Diablo shape should do the same thing. It should flip around and fly nose first. It should be impossible to fly backwards. Welcome back, Tau Flader folks. Jeff and Officer Greg out here trying something that uh, some of you have been asking for. We loaded the Diabolo, Diabolo. <laughs> it is not the devil, it is a shape. These are from a Russian Svarog mold also. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Svarog. So Jeff has loaded them in backwards. So what you're looking at there is the bottom of the skirt of this slug, what normally flies at the back of the slug. He's flipped them around, in essence, creating one uh, big, Hollow point. point. Yeah, this is something that people with air rifles tr do, and they say that they get more damage with it and stuff like well, that. That's what we're looking for is more damage. But will they will they tumble? Okay, let's try it through a, just a little Tony break action. Little Tony, which is a because uh, everybody always asks. This was imported by Fed Arms in uh, Arkansas, made by Hunt Group in Turkey. Turkish. And and Tony's having a. I need to mention this. Tony's having in his uh, annual. Uh, you remember those stocks that we signed? Oh yeah. The, the uh, cricket stocks. He needs to get more people to to sign up for that. He's only up to like $150. Get on it, folks. It's if you it's want a stock. it's it's to benefit uh, uh, some military family or something like that. You know, I'm not sure who what, but he needs some help, and uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. One in a lifetime opportunity to get a, a signed cricket by you know by Hitchcock. Um, Hitchcock 45? Yeah. Halfcock half 45? No, in all seriousness, there's a lot of uh, big YouTubers on there and stuff. And then there's us for some reason, so. <laughs> <laughs> they got to slum it with somebody. Yeah. Okay, it's straight up smooth bore. Okay, hey, I'm ready. Here we go. Wow. Woo! Vaporize that can. Flying at a velocity of around 1,500 feet per second, the backwards facing Diablo pellet is not just stable, it's extremely stable in flight. And remember, this has absolutely no spin stabilization. So what will happen if we add a little spin? A lot of people believe that rifling makes everything better. Let's find out. Using rifling to give the pellet a little bit of spin, even flying forward, it was not as stable as our backwards non-spinning Diablo pellet. Now let's see how the backwards facing pellet behaves with rifling. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, that one sounded and felt different. Yeah. Just like with our forward facing pellet, the spin just added more complexity to the equation. In fact, it kind of illustrates that trying to stabilize a projectile that's already stable without spin is just kind of silly. Now you may have noticed the difference between the forward facing pellet and the backwards facing one striking the gel. The forward facing one just went right through without deforming. The backwards facing one actually fragmented and caused a ton of energy transfer. 
How far do you think that is? Uh, about 20 yards. 20 yards, give or take a, a yard or two. Give or take 15 or 20 yards. <laughs> yeah. See if the backwards uh, slug will, is how accurate it is at that kind of range. And keep in mind we're firing this out of a smooth bore with a <laughs> trench rear sight and a bead front. So. Yeah, there's not much to, almost nothing to aim with there. Huh. Made for bird shot. I might as well hold my thumbs up like this. Yeah. <laughs> Put a stick on there like uh, the rifleman. All right. Okay. Let's see if he can hit it. I'm ready. Here we go. He hit it. He hit it. I can't believe it. Wow, that thing exploded. Even doubling the distance to 20 yards, our backwards facing, non spinning Diablo pellet showed no signs of losing any stability. It would appear that the Diablo pellet shape performs as well backwards as it does forward. Think about that, it's like a rocket or a jet fighter that flies just as well backwards as it does forward. Now you may be seeing it's the shock wave holding it in that stable position, but when we drop the Diablo pellet through water, instead of flipping around 180 degrees, it just keeps going backwards. Let's continue with a couple more tests and wrap this baby up. Forward facing out of the smooth bore. Let's see how that looks. Are you ready? I am ready. What are you aiming at? The dot? The black dot. Black dot, Top okay. Right, one o'clock. Gotcha. Or I'm ready when you are. Or an England 430. Ready? Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh. Now in this test we show how stable the Diablo shape is without any spin flying forward. The Diablo shape is just naturally stable. It doesn't need any extra help. Backwards through little Tony, no spin at all. In this clip we show what can go wrong when the pellet isn't released from the wadding very cleanly. It begins to tumble and actually rotated 180 degrees before it struck the lead plate. And I'm sure the momentum would have kept it tumbling long after 10 yards. But this was just an exception. Even a forward facing pellet not releasing cleanly from the wad would tumble like that. Despite having the center of gravity at the back and the drag in the front, the backwards facing pellet should not be flying stable at all. It should be tumbling, but it doesn't. It's really amazing to see it actually perform that well. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe your mind was blown a little bit. We always appreciate when you rate the video. And even a thumbs down actually helps the video out in the long run. I did an experiment a while back telling everybody to thumb it down and surprisingly, that video became one of the most popular videos I've ever posted. And of course, we want to thank our generous Patreon supporters who believe in our channel and throw a dollar or even more at us every month. But if you don't want to support us, that's perfectly fine. There's probably some channels that you really enjoy watching that are asking for help. And by all means, throw them a dollar and ensure that they'll be around in the future.